Xenophilius Lovegood's Wand. Um, now, just so you guys know, I didn't buy this from Noble Collection. I actually found it in a retail store um, and bought it there. So, but for some reason, there was no cardboard sheath that came with it, which is weird because that's what they'd normally come with. Um, but the box itself, hang on. it might do. Yeah, but it's not doing it justice. But the colour, I promise you, is brown. It is a brown box. Um, and it does say, Xenophilius Lovegood, a recreation of the famous wand on there, as they always do. So, um, so almost you just pull off the... Uh, the lid, and you have the foam on the inside and you do also have the name tag Xenophilius Lovegood um, uh, now the wand itself is very long um, as you can see if I just do an overview you can see it's a very long wand. Um, so starting off at the at the pommel, it's flat, and then you've got what well, I don't know. It kind of looks like a four-point star, almost. Um, and then you have just this spiral that that continues throughout most of the wand. Um, you can see there that there's a very small engraving. No idea as to what the meaning is behind that. Come on, JK Rowling, give us the meanings as to the markings on these wands. I want to know. <laughs> um, but as you can see, it does have a very small engraving there. And then you do have the, um, the spiral that just goes around it literally it doesn't stop and it's very hard to s <laughs> excuse me uh, but it's very difficult to see what I'm trying to point at but the copyright symbol the Warner Brothers copyright symbol is right where my finger is but it's very difficult to see I'm not sure why it won't pick up but it's not showing it but I'm, I can promise you it's there um, and then throughout the whole wand you've got these just indents and scratches and it's just weathered throughout really and then the spiral stops there and, and then the shaft is just straight from there and um, it's very long when you look very uh, it's really weird to hold because of all of the um because of all of the uh indents for the spiral it's really weird it's light um in terms of how it feels to hold it, it's really, really weird, because, like, you get the, you get the indents, which feel fine, but then you get, like, the edges of, of the, of the indents, and then you have, and those can kind of dig in, depending on how tight you hold the wand, um, would I recommend you get this? Yes, but only if you're a big fan, like if you're a fan of Xenophilius as a character, or you just want a, a wand that's a bit different, then yeah, go for it. 
I wouldn't really recommend it to someone who is to someone who's only looking to buy so like the new ones um, or is planning to start a collection this is definitely not a first time one I don't think because in terms of the significance to the to the plot Xenophilius isn't all that significant um, but the wand itself is still very nice and I would suggest you get it but again only if you're a big fan of Xenophilius's character if you if you are then um, of course this wand you're going to like but anyway guys that's going to do it for the review on Xenophilius Love Goods Wand hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next review so until then goodbye you've been warned and mischief managed <laughs>